This game is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It pits five players against five players, and to win the game, you kill everybody in the other team. Uh, you don't respawn. So, as soon as all five players on one of the teams are dead, then the opposing team wins the round. So, right off the bat, uh, this is the final round of the game, 14-15. So, at this point, either we win this round, or we lose this round, and the game is a tie. So now that the game's on the line, we're discussing our final tactics, right? We're gonna we're gonna talk talk amongst ourselves and uh, determine what the best course of action is to win the game. So I'm of the opinion that rushing B is the best tactic because people won't expect us to be so brash and just gamble the last round on uh, just a, a blitz straight through a, a little hallway that'll be filled with grenades and junk. So uh, that's why I think it's a good idea. It's kind of a, a you know counterintuitive option. You can also keep track of who's alive and uh, who's dead by checking out the little icons on the top. So the people on the top right and the, the brownish boxes are our team and the top left, the blue ones, are the enemy team. We win that every time. No, no, no. We can't rush it right away though because they're going to molly it. Yes, we can. We don't put the auto. No, I'm not running for molly, keep your smoke ready. Just keep your smoke ready. Alright, so we've all seen this picture, right? If somebody gets hurt... And like you don't have a phone or whatever, you gotta delegate uh, the task of calling 911 off to some random citizen. You don't just say, "Hey, somebody call 911." You're supposed to point at somebody and say, "Hey, you call 911," because otherwise, you know, they'll all just be like, "I don't know if I'm the one to call 911 or if somebody else is gonna do it." Okay, so uh, watch, watch. I'm gonna tell this guy to throw a smoke to prevent us from burning to death from the Molotovs, okay? And watch me delegate it to him and and start this mission off uh, on the right foot. Ready. You, purple, just keep your gun down and we'll, we'll kill them for you. Just keep your smoke ready for the molly. Okay, okay, okay. We, we got it. Oh, we got it. Do we got it? No. Are you kidding me? I can't see a thing in this smoke and there are grenades bouncing around in here I know my team can't see anything they're confused and scared and I know the guy in front doesn't even have his gun out because I just told him to put his gun away so he could throw a smoke but I'm gonna tell them everything's okay to inspire confidence there's three truck All right, now we've made it out of the hallway. You're about to witness the most important part of leadership, communication and being the best. <laughs> now, if you've played any first person shooter, you're looking at the screen right now and you're going, oh my God, there's a dude on your left. I sure do hope you shoot that guy, okay? And that's pretty reasonable. And if you've played 2000 hours worth of Counter-Strike, you're thinking to yourself, okay, well I know those grenades came from the front and now you're looking left, so there's a dude to your right. So for sure, uh, there are at least two people on the B bomb site that I have to engage. If you check in the top right corner, we're already down one person, so it's 4v5. Alright, let's see how this plays out. Alright, so this guy has a sniper rifle. I have an SMG. I'm going to get up close and spray him down. Easy. My teammate yells out bench. I look at the bench. Alright, so somebody is going to throw a flashbang at me. I know he's coming around that corner, so I just gun him down. I hear this guy behind me. I turn around and spray him down. And finally, I know the last guy on the enemy team is rotating from A. So, I aim at the window uh, that connects A to this bomb site. No! Bench! God. Good work. Oh my, oh god. my god, Rob, you're a god. <laughs> Rob. 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 Rob.